Hey guys, Kim here. So today is Saturday. I just got back from my morning swim. I am pretty sick, so if you hear my voice sounding awful, that is why. Annabelle is kind of sick as well. Of course, Jim is not sick at all, but we are doing okay. So we have a somewhat fun day planned, as long as everyone seems healthy enough to do our activities that we have planned, but I think we're gonna be okay. And before we get into all that, I'm gonna show you what I'm making to eat because I think it is kind of fun. So it is a little bit different. Um, these are broccoli pancakes. So in here I have three cups of steamed broccoli and half a cup of egg substitute and I just pureed that. You might need a little bit more or less egg depending on you know exactly how much broccoli you use. And then in here I have one scoop of vanilla protein powder and some baking powder and some salt. I am using the About Time Vanilla. You can also use unflavored protein powder and make these more savory, but even though it sounds kind of crazy, I think the sweet and savory kind of thing really works together. So I'm going to mix this into there and then I'm just going to cook them up like regular pancakes. So here's what the batter looks like. Again, not the prettiest looking thing ever, but promise they're delicious. And here's what they look like when they're getting cooked up. And I realize that I normally only use two cups of broccoli, but I use the whole steamer bag. And so it's a little bit thicker than it normally would be, but oh well. Um, and it's just a great way to get in a whole bunch of veggies. You know, eating a whole bag of broccoli isn't the most fun, but eating a whole stack of green pancakes is lots of fun. So here is the finished product. Once again, not the prettiest, but I don't know, I think they're delicious. I like a little bit of vanilla flavoring, and I usually just put some spray butter on them and a little bit of salt. Um, I have eaten them with syrup, that's okay too. They're also really good with like some shredded cheese on top, make them a little bit more savory. So I'm going to eat those. That's 10 pancakes for roughly like 225 calories. Like I said, it's like three servings of broccoli, which is pretty awesome. And then I am going to have some coffee. It's just decaf coffee, but then I added this caramel pecan sugar-free syrup, which is really, really good. And a couple Splendas and some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I just made a super delicious snack and I'm going to show it to you because it is too good not to share. So I just made some green tea pudding, green tea protein pudding, I guess. And I used this wild matcha green tea powder. And here is what I've been tasting, just so you know that I have tasted it already. And I just mixed a box of sugar-free, fat-free vanilla pudding mix, and then some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, about three-fourths of a cup, and a scoop of vanilla protein powder and the matcha powder. Mixed it up, let it sit in the fridge for a little bit, and then I made this one all fancy by adding the bananas and chocolate chips, because I think banana and chocolate go really good with vanilla and matcha powder. So super simple, super delicious. Uh, this was like a really, really big bowl too. I ate some of it before I put it in the fancy cup, but just a really good way to satisfy your sweet tooth. And I didn't even realize that it was green and I had, well, I realized it was green, but I wasn't thinking that I had green pancakes for breakfast and I'm having green pudding for snack and I don't know, maybe I'll have something else green today, but really wasn't planning on having a fiend today. So we'll see how that goes, but definitely, definitely give this a try. Very, very good. I'm going to go eat it while Annabelle is still napping and lets me enjoy my snack in peace. All right, so now we're getting ready for the fun part of the day. Are you so excited? Tell them what we're gonna do. We are gonna go swimming. So Annabelle has not been swimming before, so she has her little pink flamingo bathing suit on and we're gonna take her down to the Y. They have like a warm pool. It's not like a hot tub, but it's warm and it's mainly for like babies and little kids, so it's not too cold and we're gonna take her swimming and hope she likes it because if she does, they have a mommy and me swim class that I want to sign her up for. So we're gonna go swimming. Hopefully I'll be able to film it. I don't think it should be a problem. I don't think they'll yell at me for trying to film, but we'll see. I will try to include some of that. And then after swimming, we're gonna go get donuts. I don't think Annabelle's very excited for donuts, but Jim and I are excited for donuts. So swimming and donuts. Ha, ha, ha. 
So as you saw, swimming was fun. I think Annabelle is going to be a little fish like me. And now we got Dunkin' Donuts. And I couldn't decide between Pittsburgh cream or vanilla cream, but I got the vanilla cream, which is just white filling and the powdered sugar. Probably my all-time favorite. Jim got a Pittsburgh cream, so I might have to take a bite of that. And then you got a what? Panther Pride. Panther Pride. Do you love Pitt? Sure. Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> and I got a coffee and Jim got Diet Coke. Super fun. So. Okay, this is true love right here. <laughs> this is my Pittsburgh cream donut that I ate all the way to the middle and I'm letting Kim have the middle bite with all the filling. Because he offered me the first bite and I was like, I don't want the first bite because you don't get any filling. And so he ate all around it <laughs> and got just the filling. So it's going to be the perfect bite. Do it. <laughs> you can't do it without laughing. <laughs> did you leave me any feeling? I did. Okay. But that was the perfect bite. So I got the chocolate and the vanilla and the filling. <laughs> and I'm your donut back. So back from donuts, just relaxing for the evening. Little Miss Annabelle is not feeling very well. She's got the sniffles, so Jim was just in the bathroom. <laughs> what, had the hot water on to like steam? I made a steam room. I don't know. It seemed to work a little bit, but she's probably gonna be going to be going to bed pretty early. But Jim made us another treat. So we had some leftover champagne, and he decided to make some champagne jello. And yes, we are using Annabelle's bowls because they are <laughs> perfect size. So here, you can have this one. You don't really have any free hands. <laughs> Want me to feed you? Sure. So what kind of jello did you use? Raspberry. Raspberry. This is very hard to do with one hand. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's hard to like see it through the camera to get it. <laughs> well, that's good. Is it better than with the vodka, do you think? It is, yeah. I'm gonna try it. Because the vodka doesn't, the vodka just gives it doesn't really add any vodka flavor. flavor. This has like a flavor. And whipped cream, of course. That's really good. Mm. Mm. That's really good. We still have lots of champagne left, too, huh? Yeah. We have to buy some more jello. Yeah. That's very, very good. So, we are just going to relax and eat some jello and watch some TV and probably go to bed early with Annabelle because I don't feel good. Jim still feels good. I'm I feel fine. sick yet. I'm no? gonna stay up. So Jim might stay up late. Me and Annabelle are gonna go to bed. That's kinda gonna be the end of the vlog. So once again, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, comment something, give me something to read, like, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.